guys, during the month of February, Begging Book Club was reading The Vagina Monologues by Eve Ensler. Since I liked the book club so much last month, I wanted to make a video this month as well. So that's what we're doing today. We're discussing The Vagina Monologues. I had the most frustrating time trying to buy this book because I decided to use the crappiest ebook service ever and so it took me a long while to finally get what I had purchased and I had to resort to reading it on my phone so I guess that might have worsened my ebook experience a little bit. Anyway, The Vagina Monologues is a book or a play to be exact about vaginas or to be more exact, vulvas. They use the term vagina in this book when they are talking about vulvas and to sort of like make my language coherent with the book, I'm gonna use the term vagina, but when I say vagina sometimes, I'm definitely meaning vulva, just so that you know that there's a distinction between the two and the vulva is the proper word for it. She brushes upon why she used the term vagina instead of vulva very briefly in the book, but you can go read it and find out yourself because I don't have any time for that today. So the book is basically uh, a compilation of interviews that the author has conducted with women about their vulvas or vaginas. The author then took these stories or these interviews and she compiled them into a play and it's been performed all over the world basically and it's been around for a while so I guess if you wanted to watch it you could probably check it out and see if it's available somewhere near you in your area. I don't think it's here because I live in Sweden and I haven't seen it anywhere. But if you're in Sweden like me and you know of some place where I can watch the vagina monologues then let me know. Naturally I do have some thoughts about this book and I figured we would start with the things I liked and then moved on to the things I didn't like as much. I liked that this book allowed me to think about vaginas or vulvas and especially my own vagina or vulva. And I don't mean that in a weird, creepy way whatsoever, but let's be honest with each other. We women don't think or talk about our vaginas enough. Unless it's like itchy or you have a really crappy UTI, in which you often don't really talk about it then because you don't want to go to the doctor and have to show your vagina to someone. We are raised to think of it as something dirty, something smelly, something you shouldn't play with, something that you should hide away, a lot of different things. And I don't really find that we're educated enough on the subject. Like, I feel like it's up to us women to educate ourselves on the topic of our own gender and our health. There were sections in this book that really moved me as well as sections that I felt really resonated with me as a person. And despite them being really different stories, I felt like they had one thing in common most of the stories and that is being ashamed or being ashamed about your vagina and getting over it or some type of shame regarding your vulva or vagina. And I think that's the most important message of this book. We are ashamed of something that's such a big part of our body. Like we ignore it, we try to make it smell better, we put it through a lot of crap, like we put tampons in there. We're sometimes even afraid to show it off to the person that we love. And I feel like this book actually put our vaginas in such a perspective that we can look at that and realize that it's stupid to be ashamed of a body part. It's really, really stupid. Like, I don't feel this way about any of my other body parts. Why should I feel shame about this particular one? Now, I do feel like I would have appreciated this book or this content a lot better in play form, just because I feel like a lot of the power of the text would be able to portray itself a lot better if it was actually like in front of you being performed. I mean, it is a play after all, so it was written as such, and I think that I would have enjoyed watching this more as a play rather than reading it because I think it ended far too quickly. I just feel like this is a text that needs to be discussed and that is more openly accessible if you're watching it as a play together with someone else, for example. Now, I totally wish there were more stories to this book. I, I felt like it was over too quickly and to be quite honest, I could have done without all the V-Day praise at like the end of the book. It was a rather long V-Day praise as well and um, I think that the V-Day sounds like a really moving and interesting project and it's great that it turned into a movement that helped a lot of people and that raised a lot of money and things like that but I just felt like that contributed to me not really understanding when the book actually ended. 
Uh, and maybe that's just me being totally confused as I was like reading it on my phone. Um, but I felt like there wasn't a proper conclusion to um, the story or the context in which like all these stories were written. I would have wanted a better conclusion. It was a pretty long forward and then it just ended rather abruptly. So that's something that I would have enjoyed better like if there was a proper conclusion and I actually understood that this is the end of this story because I found myself getting rather upset that all of the vagina essays disappeared just so that people could talk about the V-Day. I'm sure to the author that both of these things are very important to her, but I just found that the vagina essay or the vagina monologue part of the book was far more interesting to me. But overall, I do think that this book is useful to read if you're anyone, but especially if you do have a vulva, uh, because it will make you think a little bit differently about it. For me, I thought it changed my perspective on a few things, and I just figured that we should agree not to feel ashamed anymore. We shouldn't feel ashamed of our body parts. Let's keep that a promise for next week. So that was everything for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon. Bye.